Hey guys, what's going on? It's Oris Kutsaba here with another video and today I'll be reviewing the Solid Glitch Grey Camo. I think that's what they're called. Anyways, this isn't the original box. I mean, this would be the box that it would come in, something similar, but this is from my old NMD R2s, so just for presentation's sake, let's whip these snappers out. Alright, so, as you guys can tell, it's an R1. Huge thing about the shoe are these Lego bricks in the front of the shoe. You have one, two, and on the back side you'll have one more right there. Uh, the, on the front, one will be gray, the other two will be white. This one's white, and this one on the inside is white. Also, the shoe is primarily gray. They call it like a glitch camo gray, but honestly it's like pretty much just gray. Uh, and you have some gray lighter gray adidas striping gives it a little bit of contrast you got your white heel cap here and a black strap uh... gray laces and that's pretty much it my overall thought of the shoe is that it does look pretty nice it's pretty clean it's simple you know it's a simple nmd uh, i do like the design of it however i'm not the biggest fan of it being mesh you know like I was actually really excited to come home and put on my NMD R2s because they were like, you know, prime knit, you know, and prime knits are stretchy. I was used to like moving my foot around and in here you don't, you don't get much movement. You're pretty much stuck there all day and your sweat builds up. It's kind of gross. Uh, so by the time you come home, you're trying to kind of get them off. No offense to anyone wearing mesh NMD R1s or even R2s never tried them on. But yeah, second of all, biggest difference between NMD R1 and R2 is like I mean the Lego bricks but uh to call the boost like I can feel the boost in NMD R2s and on these I really can't like honestly it's like a standard shoe like it's not crazy comfortable I don't know if it's this mesh that kind of ruins like how you can sit in the shoe or is it these Lego bricks that I hear kind of ruin the shoe for everyone I also noticed that the, on the NMD R2, like, uh, the boost is actually bigger. So, could be all those factors. Uh, why the NMD is so good, I don't know. That R1, you know, like, people are saying it's better than the R2s, and I have to disagree. Like, personally, like the R2s a lot more. I'm still yet to try the Prime Knit version of any R1, but... So far, not so good. Still a great shoe, however, I do like them a lot. So here's a close-up of the shoe, you know, gray. Very nice. The inside is black. This shoe is dirty. Uh, huge shout-out to my cousin for hooking me up with these sneakers so that I can review them today for you. Pretty much my review of these shoes is... They're not as good as the R2s. Uh, you can't really feel the boost compared to R2s. How, if you're gonna buy the R1s, if you're gonna buy NMD in general, buy the Prime Knit, invest that money into it, it's worth it. And here's for the on-feet review. Mm -hmm. 